I love her <laughs> to death. <laughs> And I wanted to get married. Although the marriage rates in young adults are going down, there are still young adults who are married like these two. The Oberts both attend MSUM and have been married for almost two years now. They got married when they were just 18 years old and have a child named Casey. And they say they wouldn't change a thing. It's a cool thing to be able to grow old with somebody that you love and have it be from such an early point in your life that it's like you have so many stories and you have so much. Being married for these two have its advantages. They have received more financial help from the government. Neither Taylor or I have had to pay for any schooling. Not only have they received help, but knowing that their relationship is secure, they say it helps them get through school. It makes you more, a little bit more focused on school because they're not like, oh my God, my girlfriend isn't calling me or oh, what I saw her with that guy or whatever, you know. And it just, having a secure relationship really makes you able to focus on school a lot better. But for some students, they say they just don't have the money to date or they are waiting for the right person. The guys pay for everything. And I don't have the money to pay for that. And I want to find somebody who actually means a lot to me before I start like, committing myself completely to them. In the United States, there has been a dramatic decline of marriages among young adults. Today, just 20% of adults ages 18 to 29 are married, compared to 59% in 1960. I've actually experienced a lot of negative feedback when I'm like, yeah, I'm married and I have a kid. I remember one girl was like, you know, marriage really doesn't work anymore in this day and age. I'm like, well, cool. <laughs> I didn't ask her for your opinion. Marriages in young adults are becoming a rare sight, but the Oberts are proud to say they married young. With photographer Darby Fight, Sarah Erickson, Campus News.